It appears from court documents that the girlfriend of the man accused of shooting a Daytona Beach police officer is the one who helped identify the suspect and his vehicle. Othel Wallace is facing a charge of attempted murder of a law enforcement officer. Rushers Claire Metz reports, according to the arrest report, the girlfriend heard that shooting shortly after arriving home. I believe I just signed a paper a waiver of extradition. Othel Wallace was captured in Georgia two days after he allegedly shot Officer Jason Rayner in the head, critically wounding him. Wallace was extradited Friday, and a judge ordered him held without bond in the Volusia County Jail. Officials say body camera video from the night of the shooting shows the confrontation between Officer Rayner and the suspect. In the immediate aftermath, detectives interviewed a woman who said suspect Wallace was her boyfriend and that the two lived together in the apartment complex where the shooting occurred. According to the report, detectives showed the girlfriend a photograph of the front of the suspect's vehicle captured by Officer Rayner's body camera, and she confirmed the vehicle in question belonged to Wallace. Detectives also showed her a photograph of the suspect from the body camera, and she identified the suspect as being her boyfriend. Othel Wallace. The girlfriend allegedly told detectives Wallace was known to carry a handgun on his person and also owns a rifle. When he was arrested outside Atlanta, police say Wallace was hiding on a rural property associated with an extremist group and he was heavily armed. We've reached out to the girlfriend several times, either no answer or most recently no comment. According to the report, after detectives spoke with her the night of the shooting, she began to cry and stated her children would never see their father again. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, WESH 2 News. Officer Rayner remains in critical condition at Halifax Health Medical Center. One Blood, together with the hospital, is now hosting a blood drive there Tuesday in honor of Officer Rayner. Big Red Bus will be outside from 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon.